With National Native News, I'm Art Hughes in for Antonio Gonzalez. Native American members of Congress are reacting to President Trump's State of the Union address mainly along party lines. Correspondent Matt Laszlo has the story from the Capitol. Oklahoma Republican Tom Cole of the Chickasaw Nation says the address did show a more muted, bipartisan tone than what we've seen before from Trump. And he thinks many of the policies will help Indian country. I'm always uh, anxious to have any president talk more about Native American issues. Everything from keeping treaty responsibilities to addressing the problems that we have on our reservations. But I think the general themes were things that uh, people should take hope in. New Mexico Democratic Congressman Deb Holland of the Pueblo of Laguna is one of the two newly seated Native American women in Congress, both of whom are historic firsts. So Holland was amused by the irony of Trump drawing attention to the historic number of women who now fill the democratically controlled House. Uh, yeah, well, of course, we're happy, right? Um, it's, it's his policies, his actions, um, you know, his, his rhetoric. Uh, that got so many women elected. So, of course, you know, if we're happy about the number of women being elected this time around, sure, they could thank the president for that. But with the threat of another government shutdown looming over Washington, Indian country, and the nation, Holland said parts of the address came across as tone deaf. He didn't say anything about thousands and thousands of federal workers and contractors and their families being out of a paycheck for an entire month. Uh, during the shutdown. Uh, he's, it was harping on the wall, which got us into the mess in the first place. Now that this speech is over, Congress and the president have less than two weeks to fund the government and avert another shutdown. For National Native News, I'm Matt Laszlo in Washington. In a written statement, Kansas Democratic Representative Sharice Davids, who is Ho-Chunk, said she welcomed the president's comments on issues like rebuilding the country's infrastructure, lowering the cost of prescription drugs, and supporting more women in the workforce. But she said she was disappointed to hear him continue to speak, in her words, half-truths and divide on issues of immigration and national security. She also said she's concerned about President Trump's position on the Affordable Care Act at a time when fewer people have access to affordable care. Mark Wayne Mullen, a Republican from Oklahoma, praised the president's address in a written statement. Mullen is Cherokee. He said there isn't a single thing in the president's plan that people should think is divisive. He mentioned the need to fix what he says is a broken immigration system, rebuild the crumbling infrastructure, lower health care costs and protect national security. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren is apologizing for identifying herself as Native American in the past. The Washington Post reported Warren had earlier apologized to the Cherokee Nation for taking a DNA test and publicizing the results that indicate distant Native ancestry. She told the Post she was sorry for furthering confusion about tribal citizenship. She says the apology is meant to include the fact that she claimed Native ancestry while in professor positions at Harvard University and the University of Pennsylvania. Warren insists she did not use the claim of Native heritage to further her career. But the Post reported Tuesday Warren listed herself as American Indian on a registration card for the State Bar of Texas in 1986. The Post article suggests the possibility that additional documents could surface as Warren faces scrutiny now that she has declared her candidacy for president. With National Native News, I'm Art Hughes. Native News is produced by Kiwanak Broadcast Corporation with funding by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. My day one. 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 Day one. Telling inspiring stories of Alaskans and alcohol recovery. Recovery works. Hope starts here. Go to recoveralaska.org to learn more. Support by the Hurt Museum, hosting the 29th Annual Hoop Dance World Championship, where you can see more than 80 talented native hoop dancers vie for the championship title February 9th and 10th. Details at herd.org. Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Network.